Welcome in, everybody, to a very special, a very merry, a very festive, festive episode of That Movie Show. Yeah. I am Mike Went. Uh, with me, as always, Liam Stryker. Hello, everybody. And we have, uh, we kind of shifted gears. Last week, when we talked about Scrooge, we talked that we were going to do a Christmas story. Yes. Well, I, I saw something just today. Yes. I DVR'd it, and I watched it, and it made me not want to... Um, not, do... I don't want to do a Christmas story this year. No. We'll do it next year. Sure. We'll do the actual Christmas story next year because, as I mentioned last week, A Christmas Story is uh, my favorite holiday film. Okay. I don't care for it all that much. And goddamn you people at Fox. That's the most shocking part, is that it was Fox. You, 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 you sons of bitches did it again to me. Last... In October, they did it to Rocky Horror. Yes, they did. That that one. Okay, there's a little bit of difference because I wa- Okay, I'm talking about, of course, the live musical presentation, the three hour goddamn epic of a Christmas story. The things. The al- Ben Hur. It's Christmas- almost as long as The Godfather. It is. It is. For, like that was the most shocking thing because I DVR'd it. I just kind of set the DVR and I and I didn't look at the time. No. And this morning, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll pop it in because I got to talk to Liam and we're gonna do the show and I guess we'll talk about this. Three fucking hours. You know, I'm sitting here because I haven't watched this, but I have it DVR'd at my house, and I wonder if it was scheduled for three hours. It was because I just I just set mine. And oh, yeah. Okay, I, I, did, yeah. I didn't pad it or anything. Okay, all right. No, I said I simply I clicked on record. I wouldn't think to pad it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, because you know, God forbid it went over or a football game or whatever. I just would have went, went on demand. Yeah. All right. Um, Fair enough. But. No, three legit hours. Now, granted, commercials involved, but still, even with commercials, and the yeah, first... Yeah, you're still talking a close to two and a half hour movie? Yeah, there was about 30 minutes of commercials. Yeah. Uh, but still, two and a half hours, which is obnoxious. Especially because... For, for the, the original was an hour... I looked it up. An hour 34. Yeah, that's a 90-minute movie. With credits. <laughs> with credits. 90 minutes. 90, 90 minutes, minutes succinct experience for fuck's sake those what music- happened to those those musical numbers must have been so so lavish okay so we're gonna get into that because they were um so the rocky horror one angered me yeah i watched it and i tried what i tried god damn i tried so hard to watch it with an open mind. The thing that got me about but the Rocky... I was verbally... Like, I was watching it yelling at the TV, verbally angry. The thing that got me about the Rocky Horror one was that they had an actual transsexual person play Frankenfurter. And it felt to me at times that they cared more about that than they did about the story. Well, if, it, well even that alone, the casting alone... And, and we can do this when we do Rocky Horror probably next October, but... Uh, the casting of, uh, of of Laverne Cox in, in itself was, it, it kind of botched the song. The right. song is transvestite. Well, she's a transsexual. There's right. a complete difference. They are very different. There is a complete world of difference. Tim Curry didn't have a surgery. Right. Now, again, there's, in 2017, it's tough to talk about these topics without dipping into the insensitive right. realm. Yeah, but right. I'm not talking insensitivity. I'm just talking no. pure filmmaking and casting of it. Um, and, and I felt that they just, they botched the casting of it because it fucked up the song. She's not a transvestite. Right. She is a she. Right. A transvestite is a he. Very much a he. Right. Right. It's a man that dresses in woman's clothing. Ed Wood was a transvestite. Yes. Correct. Yes. Not a person that. That is that another is, sex. That is another sex you tra- in a different Transsexual body. is you transform into another yes. sex. Yes, Transvestite correct. is you just wear uh, the other sex's yeah, clothing. Yeah, you're cross-dressing. Right, exa- exactly. Yes. You know, Ed Wood always said he feels better in women's underwear. Right, you know? yeah, right. You know, say, say, Tim Curry in that movie was playing a transvestite, a man dressed right. in women's right. clothing. Right, he did not believe he was a woman. No. Yeah. Okay, so... That was that, and we'll get deeper into that probably in October when we do our Rocky Horror Show. But this Strap was in. this was a little different. Um, this didn't anger me as much as Rocky Horror. It just made me sad and kind of just like, eh. like that was like the overall feeling throughout the three fucking hours of this yeah. was meh. Right. Well, meh. I don't know how you would 
capture the feel because the feel of a Christmas story is very much in the time period it takes place. 1940s. 1940s. And so there's a certain uh, there's a certain amount of stuff that I I find looking at it on the outside to be off, right? And you know, Maya Rudolph plays the mother, is that correct? Yes. And that just feels weird. You know what I mean? Like I'm not I'm not 100% against like, you know, inclusive uh casting or anything like that. Uh, but I will just... say this actually, Maya Rudolph, uh, dis- despite probably being, uh, you know, again, because of the t- it, it, it's, right. it's tough to talk about it's it because not... because the time it takes place, it's in the 1940s, middle America, Indiana. Right. It's tough to talk about these things without getting insensitive Correct. to race relations, if you will. Maya Rudolph was the best thing of this. I, I she don't was doubt fan- that. She was fantastic. I, I don't doubt. Maya Rudolph is a fantastic performer. And and, ba- and another thing that I'm uh, off topic a little bit, but it's still on Maya Rudolph. Um, I'm bullshit that they kill- canceled her and Martin Short's variety show. Uh, yes. That was a breath of fresh air. Yes. It was fantastic. I love Martin Short. I And those two doing like basically... Uh, it was an old school variety show. It was like right. part Saturday Night Live, part like seventies variety show. Right. But it was Singing, just lounge. A hundred percent awesome. Plus we got Jiminy Glick back. Yes, I love Jiminy Glick. I am I'm with you hundred percent on that one. But Maya Rudolph had a whole like the, the mother had a whole like little song and dance thing to herself that was probably the most enjoyable part of the movie. Right. Um the song and dance numbers were the reason it was three hours. Oh yeah. Um the mo- the, the movie and movie parts of it when um, when the actors were actually doing the dialogue from the movie and doing out the scenes from the movie, I personally, I was watching it, I felt like they were rushing. Okay. I felt like they were just rushing through the words to get to the song. Yeah, I mean... And, I... and to the point there was one, I actually... Um, the, the, the actor that plays the father, it's Chris. Uh, he's got a long-ass name with a bunch of consonants in it. Um a very but good very good actor. He was in Silicon Valley. He played Mo in the Three Stooges movie. Okay, uh, a fantastic actor. Um, but there was a scene where he he played the old man. Oh yeah. Uh, the uh, what was it? Um, uh, Gavin, help me out with the the original father's name. Oh God. He he was the dad in Happy Gilmore yeah. as well. Yes, I don't remember. Ga- Gavin. You know, tweet us at Mike Went at Liam NAI. Yeah, just let, let us, us know because I don't us know, know it off the top. Because of my head. at the moment, you know, I, I don't feel like pulling my phone out and googling. I already got the next thing saved on my phone anyway. Yeah, um, right. So anyway, he, he's doing a scene and he's doing the dialogue from the movie, and he's literally just kind of looking down at the table where it's like he's almost just like. And I get it. Okay, here's here's the biggest thing. I respect the fuck out of every single person that had anything to do with this performance it was live yeah live is incredibly hard it was 100 percent live and i mean with a lot of child actors oh that's even tougher they nailed it i i was looking for people to fuck up and there really wasn't yeah i was looking for like people like to knock stuff over or to flub line honestly uh matthew broderick was the one that that was kind of having a little bit of trouble with the liveness um and it's one of those things that uh, the the general audience probably won't recognize, but there was parts of it where I was like, "He's searching for words." Yeah, okay. he would do he would do he did a few what most would consider a dramatic pause, but having done enough TV, he was searching for his words. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was searching for his words. He yeah. was probably looking for a cue card. He was. He was just. He was getting through the scene. Uh, but he did fantastic too. And uh, one of those things that I never. Put two and two together until today, watching it. Uh, but Matthew Broderick is absolutely Ralphie grown up. Yeah, looks just like him. Looks. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm Peter Billingsley. Obviously, is Ra- Ralphie grown up. But Matthew Broderick makes a perfect older Ralphie. And Simba. Uh, yeah, and, and Simba. Yes, he does. And Simba. Um, but I felt that they were trying to, like I said, the, the movie parts they were trying to rush through just to get to the musical numbers. And the musical numbers, I, I don't think there was one that was under 15, 20 minutes. Oh. They were long. I mean, I, I'm probably exaggerating. Was there at least but one felt... about the kid that licked the pole? Oh, God, yeah. His and he, music. and he. okay, that's that's where uh, they fucked up. His, his tongue kept coming off the pole constantly. 
Oh. They didn't do the suction pole like they did in the movie. How hard would it have been to just put a fucking vacuum cleaner or a shop vac under that fucking pole and yeah. suck the kid's tongue like they did in the movie? Yeah. Because that's what they did the, the, in the movie. So basically, and I, as you can see watching, I love this movie. I'm drinking from a Christmas story glass. It's a major fucking award. I have a leg lamp on my mantle, for yes, Christ's sakes. Yes, he does. Okay? I love a Christmas story. Fragile. Suit. Fragile. It's Italian. But um, in the movie, they had the pole, and there was a small hole in the pole where uh, the actor would stick his tongue. Scotty Schwartz was the actor okay. uh, who played Flick in the movie. And he'd stick his tongue on, and there was a suction. So it was like a, a vacuum or, yeah. or whatever, but it would be pulling his tongue, so his tongue would not. So when he would, when he would re, you know, reach away from the pole, his tongue would stay attached okay. to the pole. And there's be- behind-the-scenes photos that have been taken of all the different actors doing it and having fun with it. It was a, it was a fun yeah, little thing a fun on set. Bit. They didn't do that in the movie. And the actor playing Flick constantly his tongue came off it during his entire and again it's live i get it yeah and they had a tough. lengthy a lengthy musical number about it of course it. they did but his tongue was consistently coming off um the probably the most egregious of the the lengthy musical numbers was what i've dubbed the c plus musical number Ooh. so when uh when ralphie passes in his theme what i okay. want for christmas is a red rider bb gun and um, what was the, what was the teacher's name? Miss Miss. Uh, God damn it! Now now I'm gonna have to go for it. No, oh, here I'll go for I, it. I'm gonna have to, di- to have to dive in full force. Um, but uh, Jane Kaz- Kazarinsky is that her name? I believe so. Uh, Thirty Rock, m- many many movies. Uh, she was playing Miss Shields. Miss Shields. Miss Shields. Ms. Shields. Uh, the teacher in the classroom. So. And of course, uh, Jane is a notorious song and dance woman. Yeah. Uh, but this wasn't a scene that needed what felt like forty-five minutes of song and fucking dance. He got a C plus in the movie. It consisted of his mom being dressed as the Wicked Witch of the West and Miss Shields in some weird. Um, oh yeah, that's right. It's weird really jester sequence. costume, and they're just yelling C plus C plus C plus C plus and done. Yeah, and this is, oh, God. I'm 45 sorry. minutes of a fucking, uh, like, 1920s speakeasy uh, flappers musical. type of big band. Everybody's, all the, all the guys are dressed as mobsters. All the girls are dames. And it's just a Ooh. fucking monstrosity. That's and amazing. I literally, like, it's one of those things, like, this, like I said, this, this didn't make me angry. It just kind of made me sad and disinterested. Yeah. So throughout the course of watching the three hours, I would constantly just ro- go back to my phone. And just, I would get disinterested and go to my phone. Yeah. And, th- and during this one, I looked up from my phone and go, it's still fucking going? That's so funny. Yeah. Like, I was bored. We're only 20 minutes in. Seriously. It felt like 45 goddamn minutes of a C plus. Oh, God, gross. It was horrible. Um, now, granted, again, I I, I, I feel almost uh, compelled coming from that type of world. I have to be like, they did a great job. It yeah. was a good performance. The kids nailed their lines, nailed their marks. They did a great job, technically. Yeah, but just because but, it's live doesn't excuse the fact that the content could have been shaved. Well... <laughs> It doesn't excuse the fact that this didn't need to be done. Yeah, also... I, I feel a lot of these Fox things don't need... And they started. it started with Glee. That's where did. Fox started doing it. Right. Because Glee started doing all of the, the musical numbers, which incorporated into Glee as a TV show right. wasn't so goddamn egregious. Yeah, right. But this is like we are recreating a movie and we're actually doubling the time... Yeah, that's of a movie that didn't part. need to be doubled. Because at least with the NBC, when they do it, they're choosing musicals. This is not a musical. Right. No, well, Grant, it, oh, it now, is now, now. Grant, okay, it no, is no, no, no. I, you know what? I, I, I knew it as soon as I said it. Because I actually went and saw it in Boston. Right. And enjoyed the hell out of it. I bet. I, it's a great stage performance. Yeah. And some of the song numbers in it were in the stage performance. Okay. Uh, the, there's the... Um, it's not. Uh, it's basically the bully song. So Scott Fargus comes out, and the kids the kids sing about being a weakling and a, and a wimp and all that stuff. Okay. I think I think it's songs actually called like "To Be a Wimp" or something like that. Um, and, and it's it's cute, but again, 
right. on when you're watching it on. T- it's cute in the theater, right? It, there's a certain and even in the theater, I don't remember it being three fucking hours in the theater. If it was, it didn't seem that long. Yeah, but when you're sitting here watching on TV, it's just like God. Can we? Can we move it along? Where's the editors for this? Yeah, you know what I mean. Is this an Adam Sandler film? Are we gonna go oh. three? Uh, it, uh, so it feels like there's no editors. Oh. The train is off the rails. The brakes are broken, and we are just rolling through three hours. I mean, like I said, there's no excuse for as much as I love a Christmas story. There is no excuse for it being almost as long as The Godfather. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it also shouldn't be double the length of the original movie. Right. <laughs> that's... The original content was 90 minutes, uh, a solid 90 minutes. And that's how you get three hours. That's how you get 45 minutes C plus dance sequences. Exactly. We just it, we, Every we, song and dance number has to be thrown into it. Yeah, we have to pad this runtime. It was, uh, yeah, it, it, yeah. Was, it was just. Oof. Oof. <sighs> woosa. Got to woosa a little bit on that one. Uh, anyway. Why you why you've tuned in? Yes, was not yes. for the uh, the telling of a Christmas story live. No, yeah, because if you're listening to this on Christmas Day, Christmas Day, you're yes. probably watching a Christmas story. Exactly, the real Christmas story, the real one. Yeah, for 24 hours straight, you're Which probably on your eighth much. viewing. It's you know, too much. You know, I've had this argument today on Facebook. Actually, I uh, don't hate the concept of playing something for 24 hours. I just don't think. That the Christmas story is that good. Okay, uh, now I disagree, but that's yeah, that's, that, fine. That, that's fine. Um, here's the thing: it started as an old tradition. Okay, it, the, they've been doing 24-hour Christmas story loops on TBS for probably I want to say 20 years. Really, it's been going on for a long. It was a like it was a thing, like yeah. in the 80s. Oh, I want, okay. Maybe maybe the 90s. Maybe maybe it, maybe it started in the 90s. Um, but now, and this this is what most people don't know. Most people just think, oh, they just show that movie 24 hours. Why don't they show more stuff? There's other networks that show 24-hour loops of Christmas Vacation. Yeah, There's, Elf. There, uh, Elf. Um, I believe Jingle All the Way has one. It's like each year another network grabs another Christmas movie right. and throws it up for 24 well, And here's my, here's my thought. Christmas Day... And I'm as much of a TV junkie as anything. Right. Christmas Day, you're not sitting in front of the TV, no. just watching TV. So it's one of those things that... But if you're going to have a TV on in the background, yeah. and you want a classic movie, throw it on in the background, and no big deal. You glance over, oh, oh the bunny slipper. Okay, cool. Oh, the, the, the Santa Claus scene. Okay, fine. I'll watch that for a few seconds, and I'll go grab some more eggnog. You know right. what I mean? It's It's... It's not like people are actually sitting for 24 hours and watching watch movies. This, people yeah. are probably watching the entire movie. The thing that I just, uh, that people don't, because I, I hate the argument that it's like, oh, there should be more things on. Um, I don't necessarily agree what, with that. How much TV are you watching on Christmas Day? Right, there's that. But there's also people that have to staff that television network. Whereas you can set the playlist to just be, we're going to just. And, the, and they, they know that they know what they are. Like, I, I feel that the networks, and that's why more networks are jumping on that bandwagon of a right. 24-hour loop, is they know that they're background noise. Right. You know what I mean? So even the fact that there's limited commercials, like, they're not even selling this thing. No. You know, it's like a the, few advertisers. It's like, okay, we got Volvo. Cool. We'll run a Volvo spot yeah. every, like, 20, 30 minutes, and we'll be good. Yeah. You know? Because I think the only person, the only people that are producing real content on Christmas is, like, ABC. You because say that, but Disney filmed their shit back in thank- around Thanksgiving. No, I, <laughs> but the, I'm talking more specifically the NBA games. I'm not even talking about... So sports. Yeah, I'm yeah. not even talking about the like Disney Coast to Coast Magical Parade, which which was filmed yeah, a yeah, month it ago. It was filmed in November. Yeah, it was filmed a month ago. Doesn't make it any worse. It's fucking awesome. I mean, I can't wait to watch that. That's my favorite yeah, thing. You know what I mean? mean? That's my favorite thing. Me and Bill. I, I'm going to be there Christmas Day wondering like, where is... where? What is... How where, come I can't... Where are the there? cameras? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that's going to be my Christmas present to myself. I haven't gotten my thing, oh, self anything yet. What do you... I'm going to go to Disney World. There you go. Join us. Not, I mean, not Join us me. on Space Mountain. Oh, I would love to. I would love to be like, woo! <laughs> yeah, woo! Uh, Bill uh, Bill sits down and we have this conversation every three months. He goes, I want to buy yearly passes. And it's just like... Uh, yeah. I, like, okay, that, here's a funny thing. That sounds great, but 
You have to go. It's 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 amazing how priorities change. So ten years ago, uh, I I had a five year plan, and I'm like, oh, I, w- I want to do like Bruins season tickets. Yeah, and then it slowly shifted to. You know, one of these years I want to get yearly Disney passes, right. not Bruin season tickets. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Maybe that was just working well, for Nesson after a while. <laughs> maybe it was that. Maybe it was the fact Why that... Why am I going to pay for this shit? Disney has been getting more awesome because they're just going to be releasing more new stuff, oh and the God. Bruins have gotten worse. Yeah. You it's, know? That's still fun to go to a game, Oh, though. it is. It yeah. is. But Especially when it don't cost nothing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, oh, my God. Two years from now, Right. So it's it, well, it's almost eighteen. So about a year and change. Yep. A year and change. We're gonna have a whole new, pun intended, a whole new world yeah. of Disney. Oh, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, all of the stuff that they're doing for twenty twenty one is going. It's the fiftieth anniversary of Walt Disney World, mm-hmm. and so they're like redoing the entrance into the World Showcase at Epcot. They're gonna be adding the Tron Light Cycle to the Magic Kingdom. They have uh, the the roller coaster that will be the um, Guardians of the Guardians Galaxy, of the Galaxy that's taken over Ellen's, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen's forty five minute energy adventure. Okay. Here's how great that ride that, that attraction is. I've been probably a dozen times in the last ten years, and I've never been once. Yeah, oh, I went on once. I, I might. I, how long ago did it start? Oh God, it's it, Bill Nye's in it, so it had to have been maybe nineties. I might have been once in the 90s. I went on once. When but in I, the, definitely in the last dozen times I've been to the parks. Yeah, we went on once no. when I was young. Like when it was like me, I was like a, t- like a tween maybe. Epcot and has Mission Space, Test Track, Soarin', Now Frozen, yeah. and Drinking. And Drinking. That is it. It's like a four-ride park yeah. and a bunch of bars. Right. It was just, it was so funny because uh, Jason hates It's a Small World, like with like a fiery passion. He What's hates wrong with that boy. Well, he hates slow rides. He doesn't like dark rides. How? Yeah, right. What I know. The I know. Fuck? Yeah, no, I know. I know. But uh, we dragged him onto It's a Small World because we wanted to watch his head explode. Right, and it was a ton of fun. It was. How did he do anything at the Magic Kingdom? Oh, right. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I'm not even joking. Just wanted to ride. Even for even for argument's sake, Splash Mountain is a goddamn dark ride, and that's the only drop. That's his favorite ride, and he just wanted to go on that over and over again. That was that was what he wanted. So he's just making no sense. Yeah, I mean, have you met the man? Yeah. (laughs) Logic goes out the window, but that's neither here nor there. I wanted to drag him onto the Ellen's Universe Energy Adventure. Well, that's just me, right? For the exact same reason, I would have I would have given you Figment, at, at, you know, yeah, at right. best. Yeah, but I knew that it was going to. I I didn't want to sit through forty five minutes, <laughs> so that's why that's why we didn't go on it. Fair enough. Fair um, enough. But that's going to be Tron. That's going to be. Oh no, that's that's going to be, be Guardians. That's going to be Guardians. Tron. Tron is going like. Behind Space Mountain. Yeah. But, uh, so they're doing all sorts of craziness for 2021. It's going to be fantastic. Plus 14 acres of Star Wars, which is just like... Yeah. Absol- and Spider-Man. They're- Are they getting him? Oh, no. That might be Disneyland. Okay. Yeah, that might be Disneyland. Right. I don't know. But they have you seen the concept art for those? No. So, the it's going to be a roller coaster, but it's on like a pendulum. So, it's going to be... Interesting. Yeah, like you're going to be able to move side to side. It's going to be weird. Okay. So that's interesting. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very fun. That's going to happen. Not to mention, um, like, bu- like, okay, so I'm going uh, Christmas Eve. If you're listening to this on you're New Age there. Pop, I'm already there. I'm in there. So I'm at Disney the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th. Yes. And one of my adult bucket list things has been to stay at the Polynesian. Oh, yeah. Staying at the Polynesian. Yep, that's where I want to stay. Going to stay at the Polynesian. Going to be right on the monorail. I got Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. Fantastic nice. fucking place. It's it's literally my favorite resort. Yeah. I think it's the best themed. It's old school enough with enough like new school stuff. It's perfect. I feel that's the perfect resort they have. So now that I've checked that off, my next bucket list is that immersive Westworldy Star Wars resort that they're That's building. That's cool. 24 hours and you get a story. Yeah, that's the coolest part. Like, I'm, I'm wondering, they like give us like 
do I get like a Jedi fighter suit or so something have, like that? Like an X wing suit? Have you have you been back since the Magic Bands? No, like I know you got one. I got Magic Bands right here. <laughs> right, but have you been? I have. Okay, well it's like they just scan your shit. Yeah. And so it was like I lost my mind. So at, when okay, so I've been on like like you mentioned Small World. Uh, the, at the end, yeah. When, when you're going through, and if you had set your Where your you're fast from. pass and all that stuff, goodbye, Mike. Yeah. It's like fuck. Yeah. Well, that, the one that got me was <laughs> Mickey Mouse knows your name. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was and the haunted talks mansion. To your ass. It was the haunted mansion. Go on. Where, like, at the end, the hitchhiking ghosts, they know where they're going. Oh, yeah. They're like, we're going to Boston. Yep. It's just like, holy moly. Yep. Like, yep. Oh, that's terrifying. And, and while, you know, the, the, the doomsday conspiracy theorists out there might be like, oh, I understand. that's too much invasion of privacy. You know what, dude? It's fucking Disney. They can invade my privacy all day long. Yeah. If it's, if it's, if it's making Mickey Mouse literally know my name as I walk up to him, yeah. the one in the uh, Town Square Theater. Yeah. The, the one that talks. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Fuck off. Yeah, like that, I know. That was my reaction. And, it, and I try very hard, despite my public persona, I try very hard to not curse in Disney. Yeah, right. You try to but holy nice shit, when Mickey Mouse says your name without <laughs> any, any, prompt. any prompts. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. I don't care what kind of gimmicks they throw at you. That just makes you a fucking six-year-old boy all yeah, over again. Right. You're just like, this is the greatest thing <laughs> this ever. This is cool. I know. Um, and so far, they haven't used it for evil, so I'm on board. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I'm good with it. But. Ugh, Something okay. that was used for evil. So, so yes. So, now, now we can actually get into the the heart of this episode. Uh, so, strap in. We, we have. Uh, done this before. We have an hour and 37 minutes of the original broadcast, which was. November 17th, 1978 on ABC 13. Ooh. Million people watched a Star Wars holiday special. Now, was it called the holiday special back then, or it was, was it a Christmas special? No, nope, it was holiday special because it's not a Christmas movie. Oh, that's right. It's a Life Day movie. That's right, Life Day. The 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 premise of the Star Wars holiday special, and we are going to watch it live with you. Liam has never seen this. I've I haven't never, seen it in maybe three, four years. I've never seen it. So we're going to watch it with you. So we'll tell you exactly when to hit play. Uh, I'm watching it. Uh, if you search the deep corners of the internet, I found it on YouTube. So that's the one we're watching. It By is the SW Holiday Special is the guy that uploaded it. Absolutely. It's the high quality version. Uh, it's one hour, 37 minutes and two seconds. And we are literally paused at the one second mark. So it's before the Millennium Falcon shows up. So it's still a black screen. Yep. So you know when we say, when we say play... You hit play, and you're going to watch it for the first time with Liam and the, for yes. the first time in about four years with myself. Um, so the premise of it is they... Going to Kashyyyk. They go to Kashyyyk, the Wookiee planet. Now, you guys mentioned on Memory Mania. Yeah. And this was something I was sitting there listening to Memory Mania, yelling at my speakers because yeah. you couldn't figure out what prompted the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And I'm saying it was the Christmas special. They did a Wookiee planet, and it was te- and Lucas hated it. Right, so they didn't hated do the Wookiees. So, because originally, Return of the Jedi, they were supposed to go to the Wookiee planet of Kashyyyk. Right, which would have been way cooler. But he had such horrible like PTSD yeah. from this holiday special that they, they ch- switched it over to Endor and Ewoks. Yeah. So they go, and they're going to the Wookiee planet, Kashyyyk, for Life Day. I can't wait. The Wookiee version of Christmas. Yeah. And we're going to get into it, but there, there's some, some interesting shit that, that's, gonna, that's going to happen. wait. Weird. I can't wait. Late 70s yeah, it's gonna be D-list celebrity cameos. Rippy. And, and uh, Harrison Ford being pissed off. Oh, he's so angry. But yes, the original cast of Star Wars is in it. That's the best part. Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, uh, Peter Mayhew is playing Chewbacca. Uh, damn it, I'm blanking on the guy's name that played Darth Vader. James Earl Jones? No. Well, he, well I mean, yes, but... Yeah, the German guy? Yes. David <laughs> yeah. Prowse. Yeah, David Prowse. David Prowse, James Earl Jones voicing it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the original cast of Star Wars, because this came out in 78. Yep. Empire came out in 80. This was basically Star Wars was the hottest thing in 1977. Yeah, you capitalize on that trend. Every single network and every single licensing agency 
wanted a piece of Star Wars. So they're all reaching out to George Lucas. Give us a piece. Give us a piece. Give us a piece. Finally, he was just like, okay, well, I got this story about Chewbacca and his family and the Wookiee planet and all that stuff. All right, ABC. Maybe we'll turn That's it into like a weird. holiday thing. Variety shows were all the rage. Okay. So that's kind of what they did, and it was more to keep um, keep Star Wars fresh in people's brain between in a New Hope and Empire. Yeah, because they didn't have the internet back then, so they couldn't inundate you with ads. No. And, I mean, again, George Lucas being the smart man, smart businessman that he is, had that, li- had that merchandise licensing. Right. There was supposed to be a whole line... Of merchandise, of course, that never came to this was be. So bad. Years later, uh, there's actually this is our first introduction, the Star Wars universe's first introduction right. to Boba Fett. Oh yeah, and they were originally supposed to have that action figure, but they never made it. It came out, I believe, there was a limited run of them, like much later, like 2008. Yeah, like like they they did it. They made uh, one of the companies, maybe Hasbro or one of them, made a Boba Fett action figure based off of the cartoon that you're going to see. Okay. Because Boba Fett shows up, but it's in a cartoon, Weird. which you can actually find the full Boba Fett cartoon in the Empire bonus disc on the Blu-ray set, the complete okay. saga. I have that. Oh, that was a mouthful. That was, and I have all of that. So now the question I would have to you yes. is, and we'll answer this in a minute when we start it, um... Which is worse, the David S. Pumpkins Halloween special or Shit. this Star Wars We never talked special. about that. No, we never talked about that. Publicly, we never talked about that. Um, you know what? We'll answer that question We're going to have after. to answer that after that. Uh, yeah, because we've both seen it. I know we both have opinions of it. Um and, uh, okay, so if you're watching with us, again, we're at the Star Wars Holiday Special, high-quality version, uh, on YouTube under the account of The SW Holiday Special, all one word. It is an hour and 37 minutes and two seconds, and we're going to hit play in three, two, one, play. Look at how TV that is. Well, right. Um, First of all, it's shot on video. Yeah, that's also not the same cockpit from the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> no, some of the behind-the-scenes footage, it looks like it's a cardboard. Oh, oh it's terrible. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's no lights at all. None. He's sitting in an office chair. Yeah. By the way. Yeah, that's, there's literally nothing behind that wall. Do you think the gold dice are going to come into play? I would hope That's so. a Last Jedi spoiler. I would hope. <laughs> also, is that just from A New Hope? What? The, the, the Star Destroyer shooting at the Millennium Falcon? Oh, I would assume so. I mean, this was made for over a million dollars, but I can't believe much of that budget went into visual effects. Yeah, no. Like, that's from... Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm guessing... Uh, the font's not even the same. The font is terrible. Oh, oh, brutal. <laughs> brutal. Yeah. Look how young he is. I mean, yeah, you look like looks a doll. Like, he looks like a Sears model. You still look like Han Solo. He just looks angry. He just always looks... Angry. Oh. Yeah, uh, Rest in peace. Her buns are a little fucked up, a little, yeah. <laughs> a little big. C-3PO being C-3PO. Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca. Yeah. I love the announcer voice. Yeah, this is very, very 70s yes, TV. Yes, they, they didn't bring Kenny Baker back for R2-D2. No. They literally had a hollowed out R2-D2. Um, no, that was also just and that was footage oh, from A New Hope. Oh, che- gross. The dogs. Gross. Wait, he's got a wife? Mala. We've never talked about her ever. Itchy. Itchy? Itchy is dead. L- he has a son, Lumpy. Wait, wait, so... Oh, wait for it. B. Arthur. B. Arthur. Art Carney. Gotta love it. Oh, whatever. Wow. Diane Carroll and Itchy have a very weird relationship in this movie. I'm just warning you. The and Jefferson Starship! Yup. Of course, 
who we all know as Headley Omar from yeah. <laughs> Blazing Saddles. Yeah. Headley. Boba Fett in the <laughs> animated fucking part. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is already a goddamn nightmare. Hmm. Goldbon? Chesterfield cigarettes. Oh, yeah. They're good for your throat. For five out of six doctors would recommend. The sixth one smokes camels, non filtered. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice painting. Yeah, it's a nice painting. Of Bob Kash- Ross probably. I'm made guessing it. Pashik. Kashik? Kashik. Bob Kashik. Ross. Bob Ross. It looks like the fucking. Uh, it looks like a much better version. Oh, your TV's ringing. I know, right? I don't even know my own home phone number. Uh, that also looks like a number from China. <laughs> so, Itchy there is playing with a X-Wing model. Yeah, and that's... Lumpy. Lumpy. Chewbacca's son. Lumpy needs to go on a fucking diet. That dude is thick. They also don't look like Chewbacca. Uh, no, they actually... You know, you know who Itchy looks a lot more like? Um, that ice monster Luke killed an empire. Yeah. They sound a lot like him, too. God damn, that is annoying sound. You know what would also help? Mm. Subtitles. Oh, strap in. There's none. We 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 talk Wookiee for a good 20 minutes here. Ooh. Nothing but subtitle-less Wookiee talk. Oh, by the way, that's Mala, the one that looks the most like Chewbacca. Yeah. You know, the one that looks like the same species. So whose dad is that? Is that her dad or his uh, dad? His dad. That's Chewbacca's dad, Itchy. Yeah, okay. And his son, Lumpy, and his wife, Mala. And, and his son's just running around naked. To be fair, I think they all run around naked, right? The apron is causing a bit of concern. Yeah. Like, what's the point? Well, I think... You don't wear clothes any other time. See, I think it's because it's, it's a female Wookiee, so you're expecting, like, boobies. Are you? Yeah, I don't think we want Wookiee boobies. Or or is it just... Would it make this better? Is it just... Maybe. I mean, granted, 1978, again, this is in 2017, is it just that they're trying to signify that the woman belongs in the kitchen? Could be. It, so, it, or it's just to distinguish that she's a woman as opposed As to opposed the, to just a bootleg Chewbacca costume. Right, yeah, right. Because... <laughs> I don't know, it kind of looks... White Wookiee is clearly the old guy. Oh, he's right? gone gray. You know, and he's gone gray, and then the... Yeah, okay, because she's taking the apron off. It mildly looks like the yeah, the, the McFly yeah, it, kitchen from Back to the Future 2. It too. does. Yeah, you got to take that. You like got to take thing, out the trash, boy. That thing in the middle kind of looks like the fruit that retracts. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Practical effects, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whew, look at that painting, Mom. What's Lumpy going to do here? I hope he starts singing. I hope he wraps a noose around his neck and jumps off out of this fucking awful Christmas special. Yeah, well, we all Excuse know. Excuse me. Life Day special. Life Day special. Because this is what every kid does. Oh, my God. Sweet green screen. You love that green screen. Oh, God. That's so good. Like how how the post actually disappears. Yeah. The middle of the post is gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, brutal. See, now she's naked. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it was just to signify. So it, was, it was just that she's in the kitchen. Who's everybody? Yeah. Because uh, they're speaking a foreign language, and there's no subtitles. F- foreign language? They are grunting. <laughs> yes, right. Right. But everybody can understand Chewbacca. All of the context is going to come from, See, here's the from thing. Han Solo when he gets here. Here's the thing. It's amazing. It's amazing how through all, the, all these well, movies. She's got a free picture of Chewbacca. Of course, war hero Chewbacca. Again. Again. Where are these three people... Like, is this stripped from canon, like, the next year before Empire? Like. This was stripped from canon five minutes after it was fucking aired. Okay. Because. <laughs> George Lucas was like. no. I mean, we have to air it, but no. Yeah, because. Now, there's granted, a bunch he, of... he was only involved in the story concept. Right. He wasn't involved in the filming. He's. I, in, one, in one of the moments where I'm actually agreeing with George Lucas, he hates. Every part of this. Oh, good, good. Because there's like this so was, this much... is this isn't like the prequels. He's like, no, they have merit and value. No, no, he is all about never releasing this. Right. So here's the thing. It as 
as we stand where this happens, right? right? So the only Star Wars content that we have right. is A New Hope. Right? Now, now, granted, it is at the moment, if we put ourselves in 1978, right. it is in canon because Han Solo and Chewbacca are war heroes. Right, but they're also war criminals. And they are being chased by the Galactic Empire, as you just saw. Right, but don't you think they would have rounded up these people already? We'll get there. Patience, like, patience, Liam. Like, what? Oh, God, no. The f- well, I mean, they had one of these chessboards on the Falcon. It just wasn't quite as Cirque du Soleil as this one. Oh, my God, what is happening? <laughs> This is obviously the uh, the grasshopper and meatball crew. Yeah. So they don't have. So instead of TV, they have. Oh wow, that's fun. Oh look at that. Straight up Cirque du Soleil. No, it's a video game though. It's a video game. Like if you remember, what, isn't that the chessboard well, from the Falcon? How did you get bigger? I'm not sure what game they're playing. And I'm not sure who's winning. Yeah. But I do like But the that acro- one's wearing a thong. I do like the acrobatics. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. So so like I don't hate this just in like a weird variety show. I love I love gymnastics. Here's the problem. In 2017, you're looking back with a lot of nostalgia and you don't hate this. But Oh no, this is terrible. In nineteen seventy eight these motherfuckers haven't said a word of English. Oh, yeah, no, this is, like, that's horrifying. That is, hor- like, this is absolutely horrifying. We're in agreement. There was a lot of acid. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like, this isn't even, this isn't, yeah, isn't the, even cocaine. This is acid. This is straight up acid. Like what That's a heck? guy, by the way. I just realized that. He's got a beard. What the hell is that? Also, Lumpy, you're terrifying looking. Yeah, it's almost like they just, like, put the Chewbacca costume in a dryer and shrunk yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, right. This is terrifying. He is so thrilled with what's happening. Oh, they dropped it. Yeah, you look like an like an Iron Man. Maybe it's though. not a game. I don't know. It looks like it looks like the. The chessboard on the Falcon. It does. That we've seen many times. It does. And it's actually in the launch bay at Hollywood Studios. It is. That I have a picture with. That's cool. They have blue milk at the bar. Blue milk! And we'll talk about green milk in our next episode. Yep. But, that. so that wasn't a game. That was just... It was just a performance. He just... It was just his enter- entertainment. And yes, they sound extremely like the... Um, the ice monster in Empire. I can't believe this. I can't like I'm with you. I can I've never I've always thought why was there not subtitles involved in this? That's the part that kills me. They thought that in nineteen seventy eight people would just be cool with the opening half hour of an hour and a half variety special being Wookiee talk. Yeah. You, you know what people loved about Star Wars? The Wookiee was, talk. Was Chewbacca grunting. You know what, though? It was it was put into context by people like English. Han Solo. Right. It was put into context in Force Awakens by people like Rey. Who, people, people that understood him, him. You got what Chewbacca was saying, but he said it in limited fashion. Right. It wasn't 30 minutes of television. Well, it's like prime Lumpy, time. Lumpy and his wife. 13 million people were watching this shit. Yeah. Lumpy and his wife. Lumpy's a kid. Yeah, Lumpy and his wife. Um, Mala. Mala. Lumpy and Mala had a conversation. And, like, Mala and Itchy right now are about to have a conversation. Right? But there's no context to what the conversation... Oh, my God, Luke Skywalker. And R2-D2. So this is their... Okay, so so we're we're uh, galactic FaceTime. So, and they all know each other. What is up with Luke's face, by the way? That's what I asked. Is this pre-car crash or post-car crash? I want to say it's pre, but he looks like 
a Ken doll. He does. He looks plastic. His hair is very blonde. Maybe it's the TV cameras, and maybe he doesn't have the Vaseline filter that George Lucas used. Yeah. Yeah, R2, shut up. We've had enough non-English speaking. Oh, man. Luke's just getting much high. (laughs) Yeah, he's just getting super high right now. What are you working on? Galactic bong. Way too much He's eyeliner, by the way. Look at his eyeliner. This this was theater Mark Hamill. Yeah. He, he had dropped weight. You can see in his jawline, he's all chiseled up. And yeah. w- way too much fucking eyeliner. Way too much eyeliner. He is just chewing this scene up. He's like, I'm the first one to yeah. speak English on this motherfucker. Yeah, this right. This is ABC, 13 million people. Yeah. It's me and a beeping trash can. <laughs> you know how they get with them galactic trash whores. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, now now we're introduced to the fact that it is Life Day. Yeah. So Life Day Life Day is the Wookiee version of Christmas, by the way. I gotta go back to fixing this thing. This is a long conversation for, he's not here. (laughs) Yeah. Like, they literally called Luke to say, do you know where he is? And Luke's like, where is Chewie? Okay, conversation over, bro. I'll I'll tweet you later. I don't know. You You had the intergalactic space capabilities to call me. R2 is just fucking this thing up. I mean, R2 does just mess everything up, though. I will say there is a lot of piercing sounds in this. Yeah. If you have to... And it looks like Luke's about to die. Yeah, I don't right. know why they just kind of cut him off. Yeah. Also, why are you alone? Where's everybody and else? What a weird place for a, I mean, a phone, I guess. Yeah, but what's that phone? Oh, that's obviously their weather map. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe. They're trying to get him. They're trying to get Chewie back for Life Day. No, sh- oh. Sub terminal. What's the four, four? Stand by. Oh, maybe it's just satellite radio. Yeah, are you trying? <laughs> yeah. Trading post, Wookie Planet C. What? What? And now we're just in a some. Sweet arts and crafts going on. Yeah. Oh, Headley Lamar. Or is that our Carney? That's our Carney. Our Carney. I, I got to say, though, in all seriousness, I'm a giant fan of those late 70s collars. Yeah. I've, been, I've been wearing many of them on Wicked Bites lately. They're huge. <laughs> also, look at you, you space Nazi. This dude has zero fucks to give. He's like, I'm not even going to shave for this movie. Okay. I'm not going to wear a visor. If you're paying me 20 bucks to be in this fucking garbage pail, I'm going to show my face. Right. I guarantee you, whoever this actor is playing the uh, the Imperial whatever the fuck, that's his picture on IMDb. Oh, yeah. Look at my mustache. <laughs> I was in the Star Wars holiday special. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it has to be. Like, at least R. Carney has more credits. <laughs> yeah. All right. These people are calling everybody. Did they call? Okay, so, so, so they called our Carney here to, to ask where Chewbacca is. But there's clearly an Imperial dude right there. Well, that's why he's speaking in code. Is he? Yeah, he's like, oh, it's four planets away, and she knitted this big giant carpet by hand. I thought he was just being a dick. Solo. Yeah. Yeah, no, he was speaking in code because oh. the Imperial... 
person was right there. I can't tell with our Carney. Usually he's being a dick. Yeah, no, that one made sense. Okay. See, that's why I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Help me out with this shit. Yeah, it was subtlety. What's he going to do with that dildo? I also just don't know why they haven't called the Millennium Falcon. How does that not have a car phone? Right. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the like Cadillac of, of Everybody space Everybody seems to want it. Right. Yeah. I mean, Lando was much pissed about it in Empire. Right, and that everything to me about the Millennium Falcon feels like that is the top of the line private space vehicle. Well, at least it was. Right, at one point. Before Jakku. Yeah, before Jakku. It was the top of the line. And then that Jakku ship got blown the fuck, and it's like, oh, well, I guess we'll get this hunk of junk. Yeah, right. But you know what? I always felt hunk of junk was kind of a sarcastic term because they called it that in the first first one. Right. Luke called it that. Yeah. This thing's a hunk of junk. It's like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. I'm yeah. giving you a ride to get your bitch, which yeah. ends up being your sister. Yeah, weird. And my bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> God, Star Wars is fucked. Yeah. Everybody in this galaxy knows each other. Why is this a beloved series? It's so fucked up. Because There's incest. Look, that's oh, oh, here straight we go. up just that is straight up new hope uh, th- footage. That's an outtake. Look, this is new hope footage. Maybe that's why they didn't credit David Prowse. Yeah, because that because they only was... used him in archive footage. Yeah, that James Earl Jones hope. recorded new shit for this. Yeah. Because that's, that's definitely from A New Hope. You can tell the difference. I mean, these are shot on video. Those are film. Right. And, I mean, you and I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> and you can tell by the set. Like, oh, absolutely. Like, this set is far less detailed. This is cardboard. Yeah. That yes. was made out of wood. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Mala's sad. Is she? I don't know. You don't know Wookiee fucking speak. Emotion. She's worried about her husband. What is she doing? Oh, look. And it's it's intergalactic. Um, that French lady. Uh, Julia Child. This intergalactic Julia Child. I believe this is actually... Who is this? All right, so well, it's not actually Julia Child. No, it's not actually Julia Child. B. but Arthur. No, that's not B. Arthur. No, no. Oh, shit. Bantha loin. Honestly, bantha loin sounds pretty goddamn tr- delicious right about now. Let me see. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. There is nothing compelling happening in this thing. No. No. Mala is literally chopping and cooking bantha loin. Yeah. Now, those of us who have seen Star Wars know how big a bantha is. Right. That's a pretty small fucking bantha. What, they kill them baby banthas? Maybe. It's veal. It's the bantha. <laughs> it's the <laughs> veal equivalent it's of the bantha. It's the bantha veal. Oh, shit. Like, like the. I don't know who I don't I don't know who is playing this. I'm I'm sure it's somebody. I don't think it's Diane Diane Carroll, because she's the she's the one that Itchy jacks off to later in the in the uh, movie. What? We'll get there. Um. <laughs> I just blew your mind. <laughs> no, that's no, that's a dude, man. That's completely a dude. Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. It is him. That's Harvey Corman. That's that's Hedy Lamar from uh, Blazing Saddles. Hedley. 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 You can hear it in the cooking. Oh, man. Now that I've told you that, now all you're going to hear is Hedley Lamar. Hedley. That would be great if Mel Brooks directed this. You know what? It probably would have been released on Blu-ray by now. <laughs> yeah. If Mel Brooks directed it, it would have been fantastic. Yeah, if Mel Brooks directed this, Mel Brooks would have killed the this. Star Wars holiday special. Yes, he would have, because Mel Brooks kills everything. 
Did I tell you about seeing Mel Brooks live last year? Um, I believe you, I remember you saying it was 90 great. years old. The guy's still jumping up, singing and dancing. And he's having a blast. Yeah, he's awesome. After a screening of Blazing Saddles at the Wang Theater oh. and a Q&A with Mel Brooks. Oh, my God. Highlight. And, yes, this is Hedley Lamar from Blazing Saddles. Oh, Har- what, Har- Harvey where did, that, where did that arm come from? That's your question? Of all the nonsense... I'm surprised fucking Mala doesn't have a third arm. It's Star Wars, dude. Yeah, yeah, but that just came out of nowhere. Fourth. Fourth arm. Yeah, well, I know I expected the fourth arm. (laughs) Once the third arm came, I was expecting the fourth. And it's so, it's, what is happening there? Like, we're just ruining dinner. And it's so crudely done, too. This is, I mean, you do improv stuff. Yeah. This is such bad improv shit. Like, the spoon's way off. (laughs) Yeah, the whole thing. The whole, again, there's no conflict. We're watching this woman long for her husband. Is she, though? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Conflict. I love the film to video. Yeah, they're, they're New Hope. New Hope. Oh, absolutely New Hope. New Hope. Video. Video. Yeah. New Hope. Yeah, they, they, they just... They scammed George Lucas into giving him a bunch of stock footage. Yeah, right. Plain and simple. For like a million bucks. Yeah. Imagine what this would cost now. Oh, God. Han Solo is so trying. Like, Harrison Ford is, like, really trying to act so far, this. So far, him and Hamill have done a great job. Like, he's delivering lines. He looks concerned. Yeah, right. He's acting. He doesn't belong in this. <laughs> this is the first time that you're intergalactic war criminals. Right. So that's, that's why. And now we're back here. Right. With literally a walking carpet. Oh, no. What's happening? Virtual Jenga. Oh, Oh, it's a bootleg Peter Cushing. Yeah, well, he died in the movie. (laughs) Kazoo? He did, didn't he? Yeah. He's dead all over, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead all over. Oh, intergalactic space Nazis, and there was a knock on the door. There was a knock at the door. Who's there? See, you were wondering why they haven't rounded up Chewbacca's family. This is why. They were getting around to it. And Itchy's cane is wildly too short for him. Yeah, right. That cane's not helping That cane sucks. That cane's not helping It's actually hurting him more. Right, because you're leaning down and back. Itchy, don't do it. His Also, scoliosis is just killing him. Also, wouldn't you want the strong female... I would send Lumpy out there. Fuck that shit. Oh, no. Is that a stormtrooper? It was definitely a stormtrooper. Oh, thank God. Nope. It was the maintenance man. It's just our carny. It's just our carny and his sweet Elvis collar. Yeah, right. (laughs) And no shirt. I love it. No undershirt. At least I have the decency to put an undershirt on. (laughs) Right. I'll rock the Elvis collar all day, but I'll put an undershirt on. Ah, oh, long hairy face. There's a joke for you. Yeah. You're terrifying. Hey, Art, they can't speak English. They're not going to play with you. What was that? Yeah, go up to your room and play with this. Happy be Life weird. Day. Here's a conventional toy. Uh-huh. Oh. Our Carney, you charmer. How about a blowjob? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want you to use those mitts on me. All right. What the hairy, lovely lady? Give me a kiss. Here, you get a computer. Oh, 
I wonder who that child actor is. You know, I was just going to say, who's a dwarf? Let's see. What if it's somebody like that was Matt Damon? Uh, Pat, uh, Patty Maloney. Oh, so it's a, ch- it's a girl? Patty Maloney is playing Lumpy. Uh, and uh, Patty Maloney, she has done... <laughs> Nothing since. Well, she she's done a lot of one-off episodes. My name is Earl, Nash Bridges, Star Trek Voyager, New Batman Adventures, Legend. New Batman Adventures? The uh, she, she was Lois Adams in the Adams Family movie in 91. Okay. Played an alien in Married with Children, one episode. Uh, was in Ernest Saves Christmas. Classic. I mean, she's done some work. Swing Shift with Goldie Hawn. Is he about to give him like a hair dryer? Patty Patty has made a career for herself. Now, granted, grunting in a Star Wars holiday special was not one of her high points. I'm going to say, no. I'll take one episode of My Name Is Earl. Oh no no, this is um, this is virtual reality 1978. Uh, Itchy's about to get weird. Yeah. With Diane Carroll. With Diane Carroll. It, it's gonna. Yeah, he's going to start scrapping in a second. Uh-oh. It's a kaleidoscope. How sexy can a kaleidoscope be? No, this is the the buffering of the porn. <laughs> it's porn buffer? It's porn buffer. Oh, jeez. Because this is... Nine, I'm, I'm not even fucking with you. This is the part I remember. This is 1978 porn. Thank God. F- oh, God. Jesus. Itchy's going get, to get... Like I said, he's going to get weird with Diane Carroll. They're swimming. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't think we have to continuously mention the amount of acid that was probably being taken while this was being conceived. So much. Oh, Jesus. Mm-hmm. For you alone. Like one of those, uh, you know, point of view type things. Yeah, right. The the POV porn. The, the, that's P- so the POV popular. virtual reality 3D porn. I mean. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> See. Oh, I don't. This is what. Every masseuse has said ever said to me. <laughs> just oh, relax. Just relax. Just relax. Feel my hair. It's pretty sweet. Oh, her hair looks rough as shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Did he just tip the hologram? Yep. 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 I find you adorable. Oh. Itchy is getting it off right now 13 million people i I just i I am your pleasure oh no they haven't even started the song yet there's a song no me gusta i am your pleasure oh god oh no 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 it better be. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. This is Itchy doing virtual reality porn. Yeah. The best of my recollection, Diane Carroll's a singer, so yeah, this is a song. But see? Oh. Nope. But it's but it's a sexy song. Nope. Come on, you 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 have to love that terrible that double bl- exposure, the terrible blending of that green screen there. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> this is happening. It's happening right now. No, thank you. <laughs> How awkward you look right now. 
I just don't like it. I love her hair. What is her hair, by the way? I'm assuming diamonds. All right, yeah. It or look, leather. It, it looks like something Ray Liotta would decorate his Christmas tree in in Goodfellas. Yeah. Well, Ray Liotta was... I got the most expensive white diamond tree ever. Yeah, right. And here's Diane Carroll's hair to decorate it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's just Diane Carroll in that wig for the comedy spe- for the holiday special. <laughs> This Ama- song is terrible. Amazingly, that little weird glitchy, like it looked like it was glitchy. No, that's how it aired. That wasn't buffering. <laughs> that's. Because if you watch, her other version was yeah. completely smooth. They meant for that shit to happen. That was like, that's oh, yeah, true. that's a smooth transition, bro. <laughs> well, that's what it's going to be like in the future. Just Diane Carroll in see-through Elsa fucking wardrobe. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. She is very... Uh, yeah. Please let this song go. It's, it's, my, it's like a se- sexy Elsa. I can see that being a sexy Elsa costume in yeah. Halloween. Oh, God. I just... This song is awful. I mean, the hair notwithstanding, but the, definitely the dress is definitely a sexy Elsa. I just love the, the like fade-in, f- fade-out double exposures. I'm wondering who is going to do the dry cleaning on Itchy's fucking carpet. Yeah, I know. The man is covered in hair. Technically, it's Chewbacca's carpet. No, no. I meant his personal carpet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are walking. Just take him out back and hose him down. <laughs> Itchy, get into the backyard. We got to hose you down again. God damn it. Did our carney give you the VR machine again? God, God damn it. Jesus Christ. This... Chewy, get the get the fire hose. Yeah, Chewy. <laughs> Itchy has done messed himself. Oh god, what a monster. Thirteen million people, dude. A thirteen million Thirteen million, million people sat on November seventeenth and watched this minute. This minute. I don't even know what she's talking That's where he, about. Yeah, uh, and he just finished. Oh, this this is definitely a cum shot. Yeah. The, the, Excuse the, me. The money shot, the as they negative, say in the business. The <laughs> negative exposure. Oh, you love the negative exposure. I love negative exposure. I get off to Especially when exposure. it's Diane Carroll singing to a, a Wookiee, uh-huh. jacking it. Diane Carroll, double negative exposure. See? Uh, there you go. And there's Itchy. He's spent. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at Leia do her intergalactic taxes. Oh, my God. She so is. <laughs> She's doing intergalactic taxes right now. And C-3PO's no freaking help. How can you call everybody in the galaxy but not you, not the Millennium Falcon? Why are they hiding the phone, by the way? It's like behind three doors. I know. How does everybody know each other? They just saved the planet. This is Star Wars. Yeah, right. Right. Like, a you, new hope just ended. Right. You're even in the same outfit. She barely knows Chewie. Right. She doesn't really know Chewbacca. Nala, good to see you. How how was brunch? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, that Han. He's so sexy and scoundrelly. <laughs> scoundrelly. I mean, I mean, what a weirdo. I don't like him. But that Luke guy, what a dong on it. Wait, what? That's your brother. Yeah, we don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. We don't know that for two fucking movies. Yeah. We don't find that out till Jedi, do we? No, we don't. Jesus Christ. But somehow she's always known. <laughs> Which makes it even worse. Weird. Which Weird. makes that kiss in Empire really bad. Yeah. Hey, babe, it's our Carney. So poorly shot. Yeah, until that asshole that we don't trust gets there. Look at Anthony Daniels just sweating his balls off for this fucking movie. I know. Who 
Who, well, that was, that was worth a phone call. Back in 1978, that the rates must have been enormous. Yeah, long distance, intergalactic. It's like forty-seven thousand oh, dollars a minute. New hope footage. <laughs> I love that they just got a bunch of video close-ups of Chewbacca growling. Yeah, right. Well, because they don't want to stay on this shot long, because this isn't the Millennium Falcon. Oh, it's so bad. It's so funny. They just tinted that planet green. <laughs> They literally just tinted it. Mean, it was a red planet in the original right, movie, but yeah, they just right. tinted it green. Ah. Oh, we love each other. Kind of? I th- this is the only real relation. And then there Jedi. it is. That's, no, that's uh, when they land on Yavin. I, I know. Because Jedi hadn't been made yet. Yeah. I realized it as soon as I said it. Yeah. Oh, the Millennium Falcon just pulled in. Headley. What? <laughs> so the main conflict of this entire special is about to be over. Well, they just they just want to get home for Life Day. Yeah, and oh no, oh, stormtroopers! Drag. Commer- oh, commercial break. Good commercial break. Yeah, very dramatic. And we're back. And we're back. These guys hate visors. Yeah. <laughs> in the movie, they all had visor, but in this one, it's like you're not paying me enough to not show my face. Hi. We're intergalactic space Nazis. I'm surprised the stormtroopers don't have, like, open-faced. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they got the costume. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Oh, co- there are you hiding the jewels. <laughs> this is so inglorious bastards. <laughs> we know they are here. Do you have milk? Uh, are they in the floorboards? Do you mind if I smoke my pipe? <laughs> yeah. Do you know why they call me the Jew hunter? <laughs> Because a German can only think like a German. You know what? We have literally looked in the mind of Quentin Tarantino and seen where he got the yeah. opening scene for Gregorio's <laughs> Bastards. <Yes. laughs> oh. huh. You must leave! That helmet, it's terrible. Yeah, it is. Oh. The other Wookiee male. Oh, excuse me, officer, or maybe I can... Let you know, uh, it's life day, by the way. Would you like some nog? <laughs> we're going to party. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but we're kind of having a good time. He's jacking off to Diane Carroll, and we're having some nog here. I must see your papers. Identification. I must see your papers. Oh, my God, this is so shit. Oh, my God, you just killed that guy. There's nobody there. There's so much snapping. Yeah, you're such a weird Nazi. Like, I get it. Oh, is the that e- why it's hidden? Because it's like an intergalactic space communicator? It seems like something that every household would have. Yeah. They have two of them, by the way. Right. One is a big virtual reality screen. Yeah. Look, it's a box on a shelf. <gasps> it doesn't just go to him. Like, they literally haven't contacted him yet. It goes to Luke Skywalker, who's probably dead from asphyxiation by now. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. Our Carney's just having a ball. He is loving his paycheck right now. Where's your dad? He's a war criminal. He blew up a multi-billion dollar space station. I'm here. Go? Uh, I, we haven't even had a Christmas goose. Also, go where? I was hanging out here. You showed up. You go. Yeah, you go. I'm sorry. That bantha loin looked delicious. Yeah. (laughs) Nala's eyeballs look like cigarette burns. (laughs) Oh, are we going to play with our new toy here? Maybe our carney gave us a bomb. It's all right. Huh? Yeah, it's Cut. an intergalactic space boombox. Certainly not a JVC boombox, pal. <laughs> yeah, not. <laughs> that stormtrooper is so... I don't think he's holding the gun correctly. He's absolutely not holding the gun correctly. 
You stick him in the jack-off machine. Seriously. Give that guy a view of Diane Carroll. It changes life. He'll be all about life day. What are we doing, Art Carney? He's trying to perform a magic trick. Just so much sleight of hand happening. Do you like close-up magic? (laughs) Do you like up-close magic? Up-close magic. Do you like uncomfortably up-close magic? What if I turned one of your teeth into a gold bar? You just killed Chewbacca's cousin, by the way. (laughs) Is there about to be a rock show from the Jefferson Starship? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's about to happen here. Oh, see, I was off. Art Carney is all about the hologram porn. It's too bad. It's like Jefferson Starship, not a bad choice. Do you know how much better this would have been if it was Queen? But then, to be fair, Queen wouldn't be in a piece of shit like this. 1978, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going Stones. I'm going Stones be hot as shit on this one. That's true. But you know what? Jefferson Starship was made for this type of garbage. I mean, <laughs> all, you know, one, Starship is in the title, so of course they're going to be in a Star Wars thing. That's probably, they were probably the only call they made. Yeah. And like, Jesus, I saw that movie. <laughs> yeah. Everybody saw Star Wars. I'll be in it. Hell, we're probably named after Jefferson. You want, you, want, you want to do a song for it? Kind of? Kind of. Do one you already made. We want you to be kind of a virtual reality gay porn thing for this Imperial Trooper. Yeah, you're going to have a lightsaber, but it's going to be a microphone. Oh, yeah. I thought the audio cut. <laughs> oh, man. That Imperial... That Imperial... Whatever he is. Whatever he is. What do you call those guys? They, they, they were the ones that actually launched the Death Star thing yeah. into Alderaan. Speaking of the Death Star, and while we're watching this, um, I was at WrestleMania 32. Yep. And... Being inside Cowboys Stadium mm-hmm. is what I imagined being on the Death Star would be like, because it's like that big. Oh, I thought you meant it was that depressing. Yeah, no. Well, it was that depressing. Because <laughs> we're all about to die. Yeah. Um, but when Stone Cold Steve Austin came out. That's right, he did. That might have been the moment like right before the Death Star actually blew up. So that was like the apex of the Death Star. Yeah, right. Like, like all, we all know it's about to blow up and everybody's freaking out. Before, all like, at once. oh my God, but some then there's farm, fire. farm boy just shot a bullet into our asshole. Yeah, right. Same deal. And they are just literally doing Jefferson Starship, by the way. Yeah, they're just. They didn't even dress up. I mean, this guy looks like uh, David Smalls or Derek Smalls. Look at the effects on this. He's like singing into a laser microphone. I'm pretty sure we have a bigger effects budget on Wicked Bites for the, than this. Um, yeah, well, to be fair, I could whip this up in 10 minutes on my We've been computer. able to blur Patriots logos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. right. And I'm pretty sure that's bigger than whatever the hell this is. This is just oversaturating shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just added, like, They just boosted cool. the highlights. That's yeah. all they're doing. <laughs> what are you wearing? What are you not it's wearing? Derek Smalls, dude. Look at him. His choker, his porn mustache. He's just wearing Ultimate Warrior tassels. Knocking his bass guitar around. By the way, how great is it off topic that Mojo Raleigh and Gronk were partying after Clash of Champions? Of course they were. They're best friends. When they went to Tuscan Seaport and had a great dinner. Yeah, of course. I of love course. the fact that... So did Gronk heel turn too? Uh, well, I absolutely. guess technically if you're outside well, of New England. Gronk's always been a heel. Yeah, let's gr- be honest. Yeah, he, yeah. Ask most women, <laughs> or anybody outside of New England. Yeah. So, they're in the middle of like looking for this guy that murdered countless hundreds of people. Yeah. And this guy just took a break to watch a Jefferson Starship. Thirteen million people, dude. Thirteen million people tuned in to watch this. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, to answer your question, yes. When Art Carney puts down a virtual reality Jefferson Starship concert, you fucking rock the fuck out. Yeah. I'm sorry. (laughs) Now, if I was him, I'd tell Art Carney to back the fuck off. I'm enjoying Jefferson Starship. It's going to be really funny when Han Solo and Chewbacca show up and they just murder these people too. (laughs) Like, the Jefferson Starship? Oh, cool. Blaster. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. 
the stormtroopers don't have a shot. Well, we know that. You know, like they don't have a shot. Not even a little. The the commanding officer in the like, you know, teal green suit there, he's dead. Uh, but the guy in the black, he might. You know what's great? We haven't even got to B. Arthur's cameo yet. No. Again, there is so much more of this that we have to go through. I, Art I, Carney plays three characters. Not Art Carney. Um, Hedley Lamar plays three characters in this. And we've only seen one. One. Oh my God. And it was a woman. Oh, Mickey Mouse foreshadowing. You know what? It really is <laughs> foreshadowing. There's Mickey Mouse ears. It's foreshadowing. Do 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 do. There had to be some contractual obligation that. Jefferson Starship had to get a full song in. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I yes. mean, it's still going, by the way. This isn't a rebel spy machine, and I'm having and this guy's fun. so happy. Look at him. He, ju- he just got a new Star Wars toy. Yes, the investigation's over. We go home now, yes? Have some schnitzel, okay? My German's terrible. Sure. You may leave. Thank you. I am just a freighter. You've so wait a minute. Is our Carney actually leaving? Why do you keep threatening to shoot him? And why is he holding a gun that way? It's so awkward. That's not how he held it in the movie. Yeah, because the thing he's holding isn't a handle. It's a, like a clip. Yeah. All right. At what point do you just fucking shoot the guy? And he left. Like, he's cool. Like, our Carney's cool bouncing. He's like, my Christmas party, I guess, is done. Oh. Oh, damn. just Grandpa. Itchy just got knocked the fuck down. Why are you snapping? There is so much snapping. Way too Why much. Why do you have, a like, a Nelly scar? What are we looking at? Under his eye. He's got a scar. Oh, well, he does, actually. Just to show how dog, evil dog he bite, is. I think probably uh, that's probably. Look, it's how evil. That's probably I just am. poor makeup. <laughs> I am so evil. That's actually probably what got him cast. Oh, what happened? Dog bite. It looks good. <laughs> Do you want to play an intergalactic space? Do you want to play Nazi? a bad guy? Do you want to play an intergalactic space Nazi? Is that a stick of butter? Oh yeah, put your headphones on, oh. bro. Lumpy. Get into that dying Carol. You have no idea. Your grandfather. Why is there Bluetooth? Isn't that the sign for Bluetooth? There really actually is. Well, he's wired, though. Because there's a wire on the, on that left yeah, ear no, there. Yeah, no, he doesn't actually have Bluetooth. Oh. Oh. What? This is the Boba Fett part. They literally just kind of tapped out and went, fuck it, let's go let's go animated for about a half an hour. Oh, my God, look at coked out fucking Luke Skywalker. <laughs> and R2 is, like, bending in ways a tin can should not bend. Oh, my God. Do you like cocaine, pal? What? Why is he upside down? Why is Dr. Wiley here? Madness. Why is Chewbacca holding Han Solo hostage? Oh, my God. Why is Han Solo upside down? I, 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 I don't I don't know what's happening, uh, but keep watching. I need to get a drink. All right, you keep getting a drink. Oh, we got to fly after him in an A-wing or a Y-wing. This animation is nonsensical. It, 
<laughs> Leia looks Asian. Like, what is this animation? You could have landed that so much easier. Like, you weren't crashing. <laughs> this animation is both great and terrible. Oh my god, it's a gook dragon. Uh, a goop dragon. A goop dragon. The funny part about this is um, how much money did they save by not filming any of this? Oh, so much. There's like, no way. There's no way you would have been able to the weird like gack monster. Like it's literally impossible for them to have filmed any of this, but they have all the actors. Right. And there he is. It's Boba Fett. He's <laughs> My father is the basis of all of the stormtroopers. <laughs> I will say this, Boba Fett from day one, badass. I just I mean listen to that voice. And he's beating that animal, <laughs> that goop monster. He's not. Don't trust him. You kill him in two movies. Yeah, I know. I, I just, it's amazing to me that. What is that? In, in a television special watched by 13 million people they they tapped the fuck out and just animated half of it uh it's like we don't have oh oh shit he's it's literally because they wouldn't they didn't have the budget to shoot this they, they only had like a million and change for the whole thing which hence the wookie thing yeah How? I mean, I know it was 78, but couldn't we have got the South Park guys to do this? <laughs> do you know how awesome that would have been? Eh, M again! Eh, M again, seriously, it's Baby Fit. Eh, Baby Fit! Eh, Nick Skywalker is like all kinds of asleep, and he's like a dad. So, did this happen or not? Oh, this definitely happened. This is all part of this, uh, this hour and a half's canon. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks like shit. <laughs> it's a weird Scooby spaceport. It's like <laughs> you literally just fall into a toilet. Yeah. That guy is in the special edition of A New Hope. Oh, you... I said stay here. Are we on Tatooine? Is this Tatooine? Oh, jeez. What? <laughs> I just... Uh, I can't believe... I, I just... I can't believe what I'm looking at. I w That's straight up heroin. Well, what if it's looking to cop? Hey. Oh. Got my intergalactic debit card. Oh, Darth Vader shows up. Wait a minute. So is that happening right Wait now? Wait a minute. I'm all fucked up. Did that happen? Okay, so so Lumpy was watching that. Right. Was that like newsreel or was that a live feed to... Was Boba Fett wearing a GoPro? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, what the fuck was that? Yeah, was that happening live or? I completely forgot that that's how they connected all this, and we're still connecting it. So, what is that thing? So technically, Lumpy is watching this, right? Yeah. I will say I love the Boba Fett origin story. Yeah. And I really want to see this in a feature length film. Yeah. Well, because like this would be really cool if this was like a standalone thing. Like I want, I want to see them flesh this out, and after they do the solo standalone, right? And then they do episode nine, right? Am I? It's nine, right? Yeah. Okay. So after episode nine, I want this Boba Fett story. Right. Because this would also kind of bridge a little bit of gaps. Oh, my God. What happened to Han Solo's face? He was drawn horribly wrong. Like. Oh, my God. No wonder Harrison Ford hates all of this. He's trying to kill you. And he's got a gun pointed at you. (laughs) Oh, okay. And uh, I was like, where did he go? Yeah, let's get out of here, guys. It's, It's amazing how much better the Millennium Falcon looks animated. But Han Solo? Yeah, Luke looks great. Han Solo looks terrible. It's as if... um, Okay, so... You know what I'm trying to think of? uh, When... In Army of Darkness, when Bruce Campbell's face gets sucked into that hole and he pulls it up and his jaw is like 47 inches long. These guys are terrible. They're just kicking pillows. Right. They're tossing a child's room for some form of information on their rebel dad who they've already seen. Right. Well, they uh, they understand that he's the father. I don't know why you need to flip everything. Weird that they have a Bantha doll. Yeah, I'm going to cut this open because Chewbacca is going to be inside okay. of it. it all, no. Oh, Jesus, that's violent. Why? But in all seriousness, how were Bantha dolls not, like, marketed? That seems like something, like, every kid would have. Right. That seems like an easy $20 Christmas gift. Yeah, why did you toss that child's room if you're looking for an adult Wookiee? Why didn't you just continue watching Jefferson Starship? Eventually, I guess you get the Chewbacca. <laughs> right. And I'm still kind of confused why these guys in the... The black helmets are off the ship because they were like deck commanders in the original Death Star. Right. They were the guys that kind of like, you know, push the button, push the fire button. Yeah. I'm going to put this newsreel down. Um, Lumpy just went through some shit, by the way. Yeah, right. Like, and now his room is fucked. Right. And it's also the only room in the house that's messed up. Finally, I get it. <laughs> That'll keep him busy for oh, a while. His bantha head. I know. That oh. would keep him busy also, for a while. Also, the fact that he has bantha as a toy and they eat bantha is right. moderately disturbing. Yeah, it's like if you had a chicken doll. Like, like chicken. I, I have slippers that are dogs, but we don't eat dogs. Right. Well, you It would be like having a chicken. Like, if you had, like, a chicken doll. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not out of the realm of Aww. possibility, but it's just a little strange that that's Aww. the only 
discernible toy that he has. The rest of it was just fucking blocks. Good night. That's the only spe- a piece of ignorance. Now, how are you going to home alone this situation? How does that kid sleep? That's a lot of exposed sunlight. <laughs> it's got to be dark out. And seriously, how does he even reach the top shelf on that thing? That's like 15 feet high. Yeah. I mean, Wookiees are eight feet tall. Yeah. Everything's in English except for the Wookiees. Headley Lamar. Headley. Headley. Looking off, awfully happy about being here. What's Headley's real name? I just had it. Um. <clears throat> Harvey Corman. Yes, of course. Headley. So is this Nala right here? No, that's still lumpy. Really? Trying to build the transporter to... This kid has a lot of technology. Right. Chewie is well to do. Apparently smuggling pays very well. I would imagine. Which is a whole other side story that the fact that Han and Chewie are very much criminals. Oh, yeah, through and through. Like, the, the, these are like the children and the family of De Niro's character in Heat. <laughs> yeah. You right. know what I mean? It's like they're just getting fed Lies. stolen money. Yeah, stolen money and lies. It's like, yo, there, there's people after my husband. Why Why is my house being tossed a surprise? Yeah, it, right. I would assume, and again, it took me almost an hour to figure this out, but I would assume that Han or Chewie's domiciles being tossed is kind of a regular occurrence because right. they're fucking criminals. Yeah, right. They work for Jabba the Hutt up until the end of A New Hope. Right. <laughs> like correct. literally in the special edition there was a scene where they're talking to Jabba right. and where we think that Boba Fett was introduced but no we all know that it was obviously the holiday special <laughs> clearly the holiday special <laughs> oh Headley is just chewing this fucking scene up yeah he's an android of some kind this is, this is two of three Headley I don't care what his real name is I'm, I'm calling him fucking Headley Harvey, Harvey close enough Amorph- Amorphian Instructor. Yeah, that's probably what this Amorphian is. Amorphian right? Instructor. Chef Gor- Gorm- Gormadia. Yeah, that was the forearm chef. And and then Kremlin, which just sounds Nazi-ish. Yeah. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't know where that one's going to come up. Or maybe it did and we missed it. Lumpy. Diane Carroll. You will enjoy your time so much more if you just scrap yeah. it to Diane Carroll instead of Headley Lamar. <laughs> Headley Lamar is just like running out of batteries as he is speak. earning every penny of his paycheck on this one, and then some. He's earning oh, part clearly. of Mark Hamill's paycheck. <laughs> he just collapsed. Is he now going to be able to talk to his father? We'll find out at the commercial break. Oh, my God. It, I mean, it looks like, kind of like uh, Disney's uh, Swiss Family Robinson, doesn't it? A little not? bit. Yeah. A little, as if, like, this was what we had originally laid out. Yeah. And then we broke it down to this. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like we went big, and it's like, okay, we settled on this. These guys are still in their home. This is egregious on Life Day. Who is talking? Oh, most likely.
So fucking New Hope. That's right. Oh, we had to get this song in there. B. Arthur is in the cantina. Yeah, because we had to get this song in here. Oh, and we're going to recreate the monsters but for TV. Th- there, There's a couple that are, yeah, yeah, definitely recreated. Oh, that guy, that's supposed to be the devil. So, some of some of them are original costumes, I read. Yep. And then there is like there's a few that are created specifically for this. He doesn't have an arm. Well, you don't know how the force works. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like him either. I'm... Oh. They bounced that guy for no reason. B. Motherfucking Arthur. Yeah, jeez. And that's... By the way, that's Hedley Lamar. That is Hedley Lamar. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to propose. That's to the third Arthur. character. Yeah. We have Hedley Lamar from Blazing Saddles and fucking B. Arthur from Golden Girls in the same scene together. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> I want blue milk. Oh, you goddamn right. That's orange milk. (laughs) Orange milk. (laughs) I'm going to go with Hedley Lamarra was probably the most paid actor in this movie. The highest paid actor in this movie. Oh, he had to have been. Well, I don't know. Well, you say that, but there's... There's an argument to be made because um, Joe Spinell, right, who was in Maniac, it was like his big starring role. Also, uh, he he played um, he was in he was in Godfather Two. He had a character name, but in Godfather One, with the exception of Brando, he was the highest paid actor because as an extra, he just kept showing up. Oh, okay. Day after day. Yeah. And he got more than Pacino and uh, and Khan right, and all the others right. because he got so much money. He's got three fucking roles in this thing. Right. Henry Lamar has three roles in this, and he's chewing the fuck out of these scenes. If he's not the highest paid actor, right. and we've there, only is a, seen... there is a huge injustice in Hollywood. You only paid Han Solo and Chewbacca to they show up. He sat in a cardboard box for a day yeah. at best. If they sat in any more than a day... Then that the, the director doesn't know dick. Yeah, Luke Skywalker. I've only seen huff and smoke in with hard two D two. I haven't seen him other than that. Right. Leia has been sitting behind a typewriter. <laughs> yeah, she's been doing space taxes. Okay, Headley's been working his balls off. Yeah. Look at him. He's trying so hard to like really get this over. Oh. You know B. Arthur has a cock, right? Why don't you calm down there, Headley? <laughs> That's what he finds so intriguing about her. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the only one that knows that, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Flush that toilet. He literally has a toilet for a head. Yeah, he does. And she is dumping a pitcher of shit in his head. Makeup. I mean, he, he clearly the new nose. Oh yeah. He's spending time in makeup. New cheeks. He's got he's got the hair attachment. He had to, he, the first drink. He had to pour into his head. Yeah. That's a whole attachment. This dude's spending time in the fucking chair. Why is the Empire looking at this? Perverts, maybe? 
They got the Chuck Berry fucking signal. Yeah. This is again thirteen million people. I can't. I just... <laughs> My God, this is just broadcast. Bootleg Peter Cushing's is like kind of pulling a total recall here. Yeah. We're about to shut your air off. Yeah, right. Go home. <laughs> and look how quickly B. Arthur was like fucking off of the bar. She's, she's like, I'm done. And the ball heads are just like, oh, right, cool, man. Yeah, B. Arthur sing. Do we play that song again or do we just fuck off? As in Peter Tork from the Monkees? Yes, of course. Oh. <laughs> these two are just fucking around, by the way. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, totally. These, these two extras are just fucking around. Well, they also can't see each other. Not at all. There's no eyes. They're slits. literally just slapping each other. B. Arthur is so upset. That she has to do this. Right. She's like, Do you know how many people watch Golden Girls? That's, um, that's Greedo. That's Greedo. <laughs> Oh, well, no, no. Greedo's no. already dead. Yeah. Greedo's dead. It's his brother, Lolo. Yeah, right. Why are you... His brother's there honoring his memory, drinking in his favorite establishment. Yeah, and the devil shut. And the devil guy's there. He was already there, by the way. Yeah. I've seen him in this scene. Oh. Torque. Torque, you have been no help. Take a walk. I'm either going to die or deal with this myself because you suck. You're out of your, like, didn't you all just read the thing? Why are you banging? You've been to dive bars, right? That's true. I don't care what Mighty Walsh says. I'm getting my goddamn PBI. Yeah, <laughs> Give me a fucking round, B. Arthur. This one's on the house. You bet your ass it is. The fucking Empire's going to bomb this shit. You might as well just give them all in the house. Drunken everybody up. I love that there's a band of clarinet players. That's really all they are. One of them's rocking a bassoon. You don't see that often. And by the way... Is that just a water dispenser? This motherfucker. What does she keep calling him? What? The, the guy. Oh. She kept she he has a name. And she kept referring to him. I paid little attention. Yeah. But he's just no help. B. Arthur giving everybody half full drinks. Yeah. I don't care what your song is about. This drink sucks. It's just a remixed version of that song. It is. They're they're literally doing this a little bit slower version of the original Cantina song. (laughs) This is possum. (laughs) This is a giant possum. Was Golden Girls a thing in 78? No, it wasn't. What? Golden Girls didn't start till 85. Oh, jeez. Um, Maude was 72. So literally... Mod Mod ran from seventy two f- till seventy eight, so she was just coming off of Mod, so she was still 
okay. a popular TV personality. Yeah, that person definitely shouldn't have an arm. And that person's dead. I don't know. His arm looks a little fucked up. He's got a prosthetic arm. Yeah, he's he's gotten a prosthetic arm in a year. That's I mean, it's so been a year. Funny. I think it's been, uh, yeah, it's at least a year. I mean, do you, let's be honest. If you, you know, you lose an arm in your favorite dive bar, are you just going to stop going to your favorite dive bar? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> well, he... He feels more strongly about yeah. his his bar. Well, this also doesn't feel like the cantina. Even though it is. Even though it's supposed to be, right? Even though it's supposed to be. It doesn't feel like the cantina because B. Arthur's doing a song and dance. But it's clearly the cantina. It's got all the regulars and the same old band. I just don't understand... It's a holiday special, not a Christmas special. Yeah, she's, no, she's but getting she's, a, a little Hanukkah on us. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> that that's not the part I'm confused about. What I don't understand is Greedo's brother Ludo, who looks yeah, just like him. Yeah, why you're trying to kick the people out of the bar that the Empire? Look, again, a good dive bar bartender will know when to cut their losses, and and they're just going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. And look, she's leading them out. Everyone got a drink, and everyone's getting the fuck out. Right. Now, granted, realism is, isn't a part of this. Because realistically, a dive bar would not empty out. They would just keep drinking until the Empire blew them up. Yeah, it's probably... A good dive bar patron goes down with his bar. That's very true. This relationship is awkward as fuck because I, I, I don't get him. That's her bouncer. Yeah, and he's terrible. And then now that the Empire established a curfew, we're closed for business. Curfew or attack? I think it's more of an attack. No, they, they established a curfew. Everybody's got to go home. Is that what it is? At least that's what the space Nazi said. Ah. See, I kind of lost that part. Yeah, now she's all alone in this bar with that guy. Headley. Still got his goddamn flowers. <laughs> and then this... And we're still just creeping. Right. Why was that scene? Huh? Now we're back to weather patterns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that walkie-talkie sucks. Like, what four-year-old gave you that fucking walkie-talkie? That thing sucks. Yeah. The stormtroopers have them wired in their helmets. You You don't know? Again, though, you understand that he doesn't come home, like, forever. Right. Right. Like, like he's a, he's a smuggler. He, look, he he goes from place to place, picking up stolen property, delivering to the job of the hut, sending money home. Yeah. Like Chewie is the Donnie Brasco of this fucking movie. Right. He just doesn't come home. He sends paychecks. Well, I'm also pretty sure that him and Han live on the Falcon. They literally live on the Falcon. Oh, no. The stormtrooper found Lumpy. I love that Lumpy has a laptop, and they weren't even a thing in 78. Right? Welcome to the future. (laughs) Bitch. Yeah, what a... Dickhead. It's kind of a lanky fucking stormtrooper. Aren't you a little lanky to be a stormtrooper? <laughs> oh, there's Chewy. Oh, shit. Oh, that's my boy. Blaster. Why don't you shoot him? Shoot him. Why don't you rip his arms off? What's happening here? Why hasn't the stormtrooper shot? Will 
Wilhelm. At least we got a Wilhelm. Lumpy's a girl this whole time? No way. Lumpy's a son. No, he just they, called her a sweetheart. I know, but I know, but they said in the opening credits his son Lumpy. Oh. So then Han was talking to the actress. Yes. <laughs> Penny. Yeah. Or Patty. All right, I get Han being friendly with the family. M- mind you, Harrison Ford is very thin. Everybody's very thin in this movie. Yeah. Like, they lost a shitload. Like, did everybody just watch Star Wars be like, I look fat? <laughs> yeah. I know we should all probably leave because we just murdered that stormtrooper. Happy life day. Uh, I'm, I know you've been looking for Chewie this whole time, but we're getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, we're we're intergalactic war criminals by our government. They're wrong, but we're still intergalactic war criminals. Bye. <laughs> Harrison Ford wants nothing also, to do also with this Also, I love that that's his family and Chewie. And, and Harrison Ford was, had all the dialogue. I, what is That's a weird hug. All right. Grab him by the neck, I guess. Oh, he's leaving him. You just throw that over the ledge? Yeah, over that broken ledge. They're going to be looking for that. Didn't they kick that door in, by the way? No, I think they opened it. Uh. Oh, don't mind me. Just my crossbow. Yeah. I guess when, I guess when Harrison I... Ford doesn't use it until the seventh movie. But still. In an awesome way. Oh, most excellent. <laughs> oh, just gonna put this in the basket. Don't worry about the kids touching it. Chewie is Hi, not. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Chewie's not a great parent. <laughs> I want a divorce. <laughs> I'm taking the child. Yeah, this is supposed to be meaningful, but it's not. It's, it's She's gonna, been missing him all day. It's gonna get weird. Wookie makeout sash. I see some Wookiee dong hanging out. Did you actually murder all of those people? I did. <laughs> now get ready for some full-blown Wookiee penetration. Like, that's literally <laughs> that's literally the conversation they need to have. Did you actually murder all of we those people? We have been rousted by the Empire like 40 times. Where the fuck have you been? And he's just going to bounce? Oh, yeah, he's out. Oh. Our Kearney? <laughs> bothered by whom? This is a general alert. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you know that guy that fell off of the, the treehouse? Oh, hang on a second. We murdered him. What's up, bro? A search party to the area of this home, by the way. Right. You didn't do yourself any favors by doing that. I would have said he just left with everybody else. Yeah, right. And hope for the fucking best. Otherwise, they're going to send a search party literally to where you're standing. Yeah, because that was his last known location. Right. right. That's where we start. We're, we're going to start here and work our way out. Also, also, you have a broken railing. And he's just... Oh, by the way, his body and gun are right down there. Yeah, right. You're going to have... What happened? You're going to have to throw a bunch of food down there to hope that... It was just like, yeah, he ran out. He Fucking tripped. Wookies. Can't trust a one of them. And R. Carney. Fuck him, too. Yeah, R. Carney didn't help at all. He didn't help at all here. And then he just left. Oh, 
What's with the little elephant walk? It's very fucking... This must be a life day thing. This is a life day thing. I don't pretend to know the traditions. What are they holding? Life lights. Doesn't Chewie want to play some fucking weird virtual chess? Because it's his favorite game. There's also been some weird shit happening today. He has not ripped a single arm out of its socket, by the way. Yeah, he should have murdered that stormtrooper. Hey, get away from my get away from my son! That that whole altercation took way too long. The stormtrooper should have shot him in the kneecap. Yeah. Oh, look! There's that oh, guy. Oh, there's after. the guy we're looking for. Bang! Life day. Oh my God! It's life day. I mean, Han still could have saved him, but at least give the stormtrooper some credit. Also. He faked him out with a Barry Sanders juke. Terrible. Where it was like, we're it both was awful. We're both gonna go for this gun. I'm gonna pump fake, and you're just gonna face dive off of. Oh yeah. Why th- are you in happened, Satan robes? Yeah, li- life day. What? Yeah. And then they um, walk into the sun. Yeah the 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 whole kind of planet of Kashyyyk is heaven. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. And we're all walking into the uh, Jesus abyss? Yeah, right. Naturally. Um, but it's actually just four of us who are repeatedly walking over and over again. In different... In succession. Yeah, in different successions. Oh, wow. You, this is where you blew the budget. On a bunch of Wookiee heads. It's literally heads and robes. Yeah. We had to go to Wookiee Church. And I'm guessing half those people, 78, actually had the hair, so they just put a mask on. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, we're all here. Happy Life Day. Chewbacca was wearing sneakers. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure. Is he wearing sneakers? I, I can't tell. All right, so 3PO was with Leia. R2 was with Luke. Right. Han Solo decided to GTFO. Did they just all peace out and like? Um... <laughs> oh! Oh! Thank God we're in our original clothing. The gang's all here. What's eh. up, buddy? Hey, man. Sorry I left you. I just, you know, had a bitch back on spaceport. <laughs> this is her. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind the hair. It's going to go away soon. It's amazing how PC they were in, 2000, in 1978. Yeah. Tree of Life, oh. which, of course, we can all find at the Animal Kingdom in Disney. Oh, that's the tree of life, isn't it? It is. It is. We haven't seen. uh, Are they standing in front of it? Yes, they are. This is before all the animals go on. Oh, okay. (laughs) This, This, you rock. They haven't carved the tree of life yet. Yeah, they haven't carved the tree of life yet. Um, This is where we find out that she is, in fact, Debbie Reynolds' daughter. Hmm. I mean, obviously, (laughs) Han (laughs) Solo's the fair support. Looks so mad. Had, had more people seen this, they would have realized that that Han was into her. Yeah, right. Because he was just totally looking down her shirt. It was horrible. There's a lot of weird leching in this. Most of it involving Diane Carroll, but yeah. And then thank, and then thank Chewie Christ gets, to, and then Chewie gets the last line in this too. Not yet. <laughs> But still no metal. It's very good. Still no metal. No. He gets a life day robe. Yeah. Oh. His family gets a weird bunch of candles. Uh, do you think this is a traditional life day song? I, I believe it's actually the only traditional life day song okay. that is known in the English language. Yeah. There's a lot known There's in Wookiee. There's a lot of, yeah, right. And as we've seen in the better part of 90 minutes, yeah, most of it was Wookiee. Oh my god, this has felt 15 hours long. Why is Luke still in his, like, Jedi pajamas? His Tatooine attire? Oh, thank god. They literally had no other costume yet. 
They hadn't even made it. It was this or fighter pilot. They hadn't. It was. It, it was, was this, this or X Wing pilot. And what is happening? They're just all just kind of wandering. <laughs> it's it's Chewbacca's graduation. Yeah, that's what it is. Mazel. Oh my god. <laughs> we're re we're re remembering all the things that was a new hope. Here's all the stuff that we didn't film for this TV show. Yeah. Remember that movie that you loved? Here are all the clips from it. See, there's a chessboard. Yeah. Look, oh, you better let the Wookiee win. Yeah, here, here. this is literally, this is literally. So pl- just remember the Alec movie. Guinness, for fuck's sake. Yeah, remember, just remember the movie that we, uh, that we love. Just remember that. So for a million dollars, we got some wildly mediocre acting and a whole bunch of fucking stock footage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mostly stock footage. Mostly stock footage. This is all from A New Hope. This is uh, they, they are literally recapping A New Hope. That was literally what they did. From Chewie's perspective, <laughs> they just recapped it. And they're, f- they're montaging back into him. They recapped. Fucking right back into a dissolve of Chewie. Yeah, they recapped A uh, New Hope from the perspective of Keeping Chewbacca. the Chewie mask was probably the most expensive thing they had. Probably. I was hoping that this movie would end with Chewbacca roaring. No day of I'm peace. Not sure what we got here, right? Oh, life day. I'm assuming we're towards the end. A day oh, of oh. peace. You are my son. Lumpy looks tiny. I wonder what happened. I like. I would love to hear a horrifying story about what happened to Lumpy, and his. Because you know he didn't make it to Jedi. No. Like you would think that they the, got the, like in the time frame between A New Hope and Empire. Because, like, they all ended up on Hoth, right? And right. So, like, I'm assuming at some point the Empire just comes in and murders them. I mean, the Empire had rousted them quite a few times. I'm assuming at a certain point it just got to the point where they were annoyed. Yeah. And Lumpy's kind of being a bitch, and they just shot everybody. Oh, yeah, no, they definitely, like... they. Cut. How quick were they to murder Luke's aunt and uncle? Right. Right, so they totally murdered... So Lumpy and Itchy and Mala are so dead. So dead. So dead. (laughs) I love that they get casting credits. They're like the first ones. Yeah. The rest are just kind of fuck-offs. Yeah, it's just all... The The Wazan Troop. The Mum Brothers? Oh, that must have been the gymnasts. Oh, I assume so. Or the... Actually, Wazan Troop, yeah. Oh, my God. So that was, wow, exhale. Holy moly. Deep exhale on that one. I blame all of the people that wrote stuff for this. Um, so that was oh my God. a Star Wars holiday special. Uh, your first time. Yeah, it was. Probably the last time. <laughs> Until we do this again. Yeah, we'll make it a <laughs> We'll make it a We'll make it a tradition. Story. Ne- ne- next time we'll do it on Patreon. People have to pay for that shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, here's the deal. If we do this again, we're going to act out stuff. While oh, absolutely. It while it happens. We'll have to be doing it in full, Ooh, full Chewbacca masks. You know what we do? We'll provide the dubbed translation of all of the Wookiee. That sounds like a hell of an idea for a Patreon. Yeah. Mm. So if you want I like it. it. Patreon. Patreon. Mike Patreon. Went, New Age Insiders. Yeah, pick one. Just to, just donate and pick say this both. is what it's for. Yeah, preferably pick both. Pick both and let us know what it's for. Because if you want to see us act out the Wookiee parts yeah. of Star Wars Holiday Special. Oh, God. I don't know. That might, that be, a, that, that might be a $100 award. That was, that, that was brutal. I, I mean, it was only an hour and a half long. I know that because that's what the timestamp said. Yeah. It that was an felt, hour and 37 minutes. It felt like 15 it felt like 15 hours. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't even pause it to get a drink. I, I went in the middle and, and refilled. Yeah, you just got up and went and got a drink. <laughs> like, this that is was, bullshit. <laughs> that was an hour and a half straight through. Oh, God, don't see this. Don't. Oh. Or if you, if you do, see it with us. Yeah, watch it with us. Watch it with us. Um, There was so much nonsensical stuff happening. Mm-hmm. I still don't understand why we needed it to be the one inaudible character. Like, this would have been like if R2-D2 
had a family and we like saw what his family was doing. I I have the I have the feeling that because of how much George Lucas hates this, I have the feeling that he had like a brief idea like, "Hey, you know, there's this Wookiee planet that we're going to visit in two movies." Right. And they have a holiday. It's called Life Day. It's sure. kind of a cool thing. But most of it was about Luke and, and the rest of them. And it was just like, no. Yeah. No. Well, well, Give us a bunch of stock footage from the first movie, and we're going to do the whole thing in fucking Wookiee talk. Yeah. The other part to think about, too, There is... was over 45 minutes of non-English Wookiee talk. Yeah. Well, the other thing you have to Non-subtitled. Think... Right. The thing you have to think about, too, is, is that, in theory... He's the only character that you could do a, a family holiday special. Luke, uh, his aunt they and were uncle is burned murdered. Up. Yeah, they're <laughs> murdered. Uh, and then his Leia, dad sucks. Yeah, but you don't know. It's and you his don't dad. know that yet. Um, but then he, uh, Leia, her entire planet was blown up. So yep. in theory, her family. Alderaan dead. was done. Um, and so it comes down to Chewie or Han, and it's, or the droids. Or which, the droids. I mean, there's no family of droids. Right. Because you're just built. So it has to be either Han or... You know what, or, though? I'm, I'm not going to lie. A Han Solo family. I would I would have taken Han Solo and Lando Calrissian's Electric Boogaloo Christmas Adventure. See, look, you're absolutely right, but we haven't <laughs> met La- Cal- Lando Calrissian We yet. hadn't met Boba Fett yet. Right. But in, re- in reality, did we meet Boba Fett in Empire? <laughs> we just saw him. In Empire, we definitely met him. That's true. He took Han away. But I mean, imagine if they if they had had Billy D. Williams yeah, and Harrison Ford and Harrison Ford, a bunch of Colt forty five, yeah, just getting fucked up on Bantha milk, yeah, with B. Arthur and Hedley Lamarr, yeah. I mean that 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 would have been better. That's an hour and a half of my oh, life I could actually take. It also should have been the the characters shouldn't have been. Ha, uh, Han Solo, I mean, not uh, Chewbacca's wife, dad, and son. It should have been his wife, his, I mean, his dad, his mom, and his little brother. Say it again. So instead of it being his wife, his dad, and his son, it should have been his dad, his mom, and his little brother. Lumpy should have been his little brother, not his son. So he's married, but no kids. No, no, no. So he's not married at all. Oh, so so, so it, his his parents. So uh, Mala and Itchy are his parents, and he has and a Lumpy brother. Lumpy is his little brother. That would have been much better because you. It solves a lot of the stuff we were talking about during the movie, where it's like, so this guy just like goes off for months at a time to smuggle, whereas it's just like again, yeah. you have the Donnie Brasco defense. I know. I just think it would make more sense. May, maybe Chewie is an undercover agent. For the Empire? For, yeah, sure. Okay. Let's right. go there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. It was right. nonsensical. Yeah, whatever. It was God. what it was. Oh, God. Are it's... we good with that? Yeah, we're good with that. All right. So <laughs> that was the Star Wars Holiday Special. I hope... You enjoyed it as little as we did. Uh, please follow us on all forms of social media. Uh, Twitter, at Mike Went, at Liam NAI. Uh, you can find us, on, of course, every Monday on New Age Pop. Correct. On all your favorite podcasting all apps. All of them. So please follow all of them. My Android people, we are on Google Play. No, no, are we? Are we? I'm, Pop you, is still waiting. Oh, Pop okay. Is, Pop is still waiting. Pop but, is pending on Google Play. But it will be on Google Play. But the New Play. Age Insiders Wrestling Channel is on Google Google Play. And Spotify. And Spotify. So just subscribe to friggin' everything. Yeah. Everything. And, and, of course, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, that Movie Show on Facebook is, of course, facebook.com slash TV. where when we're not live, we're doing videos like this yes. and having all kinds of fun and shenanigans. And... While I said that we were going to abandon a, a Christmas story this year because of the abortion that was the live version of a Christmas story. Yes. Next week, while I am uh, I'm in Florida, actually, you will be having a little treat. Yes. We're going to keep it pop culture. We're going to keep it current. We're going to be doing Star Wars The Last Jedi. Because we got feelings. We got, we got a few thoughts. Thoughts and concerns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and some of you might agree with us, some of you might not, but that's why we have the Twitter, so you can 
yell at us. Let us know. At Mike Went, at Liam NAI, New Age Insiders, New Age Pop, all the fun stuff. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. <laughs>